Hello and welcome to All Top 5s. Toxic entities come in all forms, whether they're chemicals or radioactive substances, microorganisms that cause disease, or naturally occurring physical toxins found in great quantity pretty much everywhere. Although scientists differ on how to measure toxicity, it's usually the LD50. That is the amount that's needed to kill at least 50% of test subjects, which is often only estimated. Here are five of the most deadly and extremely dangerous toxicants ever discovered. Number 5. Ricin This is a naturally occurring protein that can be found in the seeds from the castor oil plant, and it's staggeringly deadly. It's estimated that less than 2 milligrams of ricin is enough to kill the average adult, but that's if it's injected or breathed in. However, on average, it'll take about 80 milligrams of ricin to kill you if you ingest it. That's really not much at all, perhaps the same amount as a few grains of salt. In fact, in 1978, a Bulgarian man, Georgi Markov, who spoke out against his country's communist government, was assassinated by the Bulgarian secret police using ricin. The substance was hidden inside some kind of air gun pellet, and the air gun hidden inside an umbrella. As he was walking across Waterloo Bridge, an unidentified person shot the pellet into Markov's leg. He went to hospital and died just a few days later, with the minuscule pellet only being found during his autopsy. This just shows the massively lethal nature of ricin, and how invisible it can be. The symptoms of exposure to ricin may take anywhere from hours to days to begin if ingested, and include nausea, vomiting blood, diarrhea, and then organs will begin to fail before the victim dies horribly. If it's inhaled or absorbed through the skin, then a cough and fever will develop, along with allergic reactions. Depending on how large the dose was, the wheezing, coughing, asthma, eye and lip edema, sore, dry throat, tightness in the chest, irritated skin, will all occur at varying levels before a possible death from respiratory failure. The good news, though, is that it's easily denatured, which means that if it's subjected to any temperatures above 80 degrees centigrade, or 176 degrees Fahrenheit, it will lose its toxicity. This limits spreading ricin by explosive, fire, water supply, and other controllable methods. Ricin will only last once it's been deployed for up to three days, when its chemical bonds naturally break down and its danger is completely removed. There are two antidotes in tests, and an anti-ricin vaccine is currently in development, and it's looking promising, but still, it's a deadly toxin that is luckily quite tricky to handle. Number 4. VX VX is a man-made chemical compound that is extremely dangerous. It actually came about by scientists developing new insecticides for farming in the 1950s, but VX turned out to be far too toxic. The LD50, the average amount estimated to be needed to kill 50% of people exposed to the substance, is as little as 10 milligrams, less than the weight of half a grain of rice. And that's just exposure to the victim's skin. What's really scary is that it acts incredibly fast too, so there's very little time to decontaminate the skin and save someone exposed to it. If that's not enough, VX is incredibly robust, so it persists in the environment in toxic form for a very long time, with a boiling point of 300 degrees centigrade, and it can be dispersed in liquid, aerosol, powder or clay, and it looks like water, and it doesn't taste or smell of anything either. Yikes. Despite all this, though, staggeringly, there have only been two recorded deaths in human history due to VX. Although an American chemical warfare testing accident in 1968 sadly killed around 6,000 sheep in Utah. In 1994, a member of the Japanese terrorist doomsday cult Aum Shinrikyo tried to kill a suspected spy with the nerve agent VX by sprinkling a small amount onto his neck in Tokyo. The victim gave chase for less than 100 meters before he collapsed, fell into a coma, and died 10 days later without ever waking up. In early 2017, Kim Jong-nam, half-brother of Kim Jong-un, the leader of North Korea, was assassinated with VX by two women in Kuala Lumpur Airport. Mr. Kim died quickly, despite prompt medical attention, and also on his way to a hospital. 
VX is a nerve agent, which means it affects nerve impulses. Very quickly, the victim goes from sweating and muscles twitching on the exposed area, to vomiting and eventually they asphyxiate. Simply put, VX prevents a chemical called acetylcholine, which keeps muscles contracted, from being broken down. This keeps those muscles in a constant state of contraction, which, when it's the diaphragm for example, means the victim can't breathe in or out, hence death by asphyxiation. This terrifying substance was declared a weapon of mass destruction in 1993, banning VX forever, apart from within the fields of research and medicine in small quantities. Thank goodness. Number 3. Batrachotoxin. It had to come up at some point. Batrachotoxin, known also as BTX, comes from frogs. Namely the poison dart frog, but also other frog species, as well as melarid beetles and birds such as the blue capped ifrit and the little shrike thrush. BTX was properly isolated and identified in the 1960s, and is one of the most lethal substances in the world. A killing dose, when injected, for an average human, is likely to be a mere 140 micrograms. As it's a neurotoxin, it has a major effect on the nervous system of the animal or person unlucky enough to come into contact with it. BTX binds to sodium channels in nerve cells, which permanently blocks them. This causes complete and almost totally irreversible paralysis. Once the heart and lungs are paralysed, it's game over extremely quickly. Of course, there are hunters in Central and South America who use this toxin to shoot and kill monkeys and birds, incapacitating them instantaneously. There's no antidote, unfortunately, and that's because it's very hard to study BTX. Interestingly, the famous poison arrow frogs get the toxin from their diet rather than producing it in their own bodies themselves. It's assumed they eat a toxin-producing beetle, but it's not known for sure. This presents an ethical issue, as the frogs themselves are endangered, so scientists need to study wild frogs rather than those bred in captivity as a source of the toxin to study, but there are strict limits on how many can be collected for research. It's not completely hopeless though, as it's been proven that tetrodotoxin, the substance produced by the puffer fish, is a toxin that has the opposite effect on sodium channels to that of BTX. Sadly, it's not as simple as just administering tetrodotoxin to someone paralysed by BTX, but it's definitely an area for future research. <laughs> Something like a poison to cure the poison. Number 2. Mitotoxin. Now for a thoroughly obscure one. Mitotoxin, also known as MTX, is a naturally produced molecule, notable because it's one of the most complex ever discovered. Just look at its chemical diagram and formula. It's staggeringly lethal, estimated to be only 3.5 micrograms needed to be fatal to 50% of the average human population. That's about as much as a twentieth of an eyelash. MTX is produced by tiny organisms called Gambiodiscus toxicus, a species of dinoflagellate. This is essentially a kind of plankton, simply put, that was discovered attached to brown algae on reefs in French Polynesia. This obscure little creature, if you can call it a creature, produces several different toxins, including the deadly MTX. MTX causes death by heart failure. It does this by causing a huge increase of calcium ions to flow through heart muscle membranes, shutting down and necrotizing those muscles and making death a swift one. It's still not understood very well, and efforts to synthesize the molecule in the lab are currently at a standstill due to lack of funding, so it's unlikely there'll be any kind of antidote anytime soon. It's amazing to think that one of the most lethal toxins in the world comes from one of the smallest, most benign-seeming organisms on the planet. Number 1. Botulinum. If you thought MTX looked complex, just look at botulinum toxin, discovered in 1820 and identified in 1895. Also confusingly known as BTX, like batrachotoxin, it is by far the most deadly substance known to science. In fact, it's stated that an injection of botulinum toxin, BTX, for it to be lethal to an adult human, you'd only need 2 nanograms, that's 2 billionths of a gram. 
So to put this into perspective, if you cut a grain of salt into 28,000 pieces, you'd only need one of those pieces to kill a person. It comes in eight different forms, botulinum A through to botulinum H, and it's type H that is the deadliest. BTX is derived from a certain bacterium, Clostridium botulinum, and other species related to it. Despite its lethal nature, the various strains of BTX are used widely in medicine and even commercially in cosmetics. In fact, one of the more well-known applications is Botox. When injected into the correct muscle groups, such as those in the face, BTX relaxes muscles, thereby reducing wrinkles on the skin. It's a highly popular treatment using the deadliest toxin on the planet. If Botox is injected into the wrong muscle group or somehow spreads away from its injection site, the BTX can cause serious and deadly side effects. Because BTX paralyzes muscles, it can cause weakness, allergic reactions, flu-like symptoms and so on. If it's anywhere near the heart or the respiratory system, this paralysis is lethal. On the plus side, BTX is often used in a medical setting, as it helps a variety of muscle disorders by weakening overactive muscles, the cause of an extensive number of conditions. The toxin can treat improper eye alignment, muscle spasms, migraines, urinary tract and bladder conditions, and pretty much anywhere else where muscles are concerned. So, BTX, the world's deadliest toxin, is a knife edge. On one side is genuine medical utility, and on the other side is a fast, unpleasant death. And that's it from all top fives for this week. Please remember to be civil when posting your discussion. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Hit the subscribe button for notifications of all my new videos, or you can click to support all top fives on Patreon if you like. So peace and love to each and every one of you, and I'll see you all next time on All Top Fives.